नाम भी इसके आप मंदिर को हैं ठीक है अनाउंस कर दीजिए वही कोई का उनका तो नहीं बाहुल वही का उनका तो नहीं स्पीड वही का उनका सिंबा सलाम अंकल इसके नो ना मैं यार कोई नहीं बैल मैं मतलब बैल इस तरह के इस तरह को बैल 90 परसेंट डेड 10 परसेंट मुझे मालूम मगर तब उसको ना मैं लाऊं तो नहीं मैं मंत्री फेस मेरी सामने वो जब भी बाहुल तो लाऊं तो पता ही है स Nah, kalau saya bilang mau tunggu, sudah lah kau, sudah lah kau, patai. You know, silik pun semua tulis. Worship is life. Mas mau patai pun, kalau aku ni dia mau aku worship. Di mana? Aku ni kau ni kau. Di kau tu lah aku ni satu, mau patai saya, mau tak kau beli tu, mau patai kan, pun sudah lah.
especially kapag ka Betty, napakalaki ng possibility na magamit po nila yung passage or yung given passage or verse. Expected na po yun. And every time, wala namin experience po ako ng ganun, right away, ang nagiging pag po ng isip po po is to preach another message. But this time, again, the conviction of the Holy Spirit is very strong. And I believe God is a purpose. Amen? Acts chapter 16, verses 9 and 10. And I would like to request the congregation to please read our text tonight. Acts chapter 16, verses 9 and 10. Ready? Begin. Bless your people, O oh Lord, I pray. 
and please encourage them, particularly the world mission. I would like to completely rely on you and your power of God. For all of these things we ask in Christ's most precious name. Amen. Amen. So, we consider po natin na sa message po ay Pastor Aaron, ito po ang pinaka-conclusion po natin. So, let me now give to you the outline. The outline of my message tonight, this is about the cry of the lost. The cry of the lost. And then, the second point is about the calling of the Lord. The calling of the Lord. At ang magiging last point po natin is the commitment of the laborers. Okay? The cry of the lost, the calling of the Lord, and the commitment of the laborers. So, this simple outline, mga kapatid, gusto ko pong ipahagi po sa inyo for you to better understand this vision. In fact, ni rehearse ni Apostle Paul ang vision na ito at ang kanyang claim, I was not disobedient unto my heavenly vision. And it is great and wonderful for all the believers to somehow be submissive sa kung ano po ang kalooban ng Panginoon. So isa-isahin po natin, bigyan pansin po natin, there is no need for me to preach long tonight considering na halos nandun na po sa unang mensahe natin. But again, it is good to somehow emphasize to every one of us this vision patungkol po sa world mission. Amen? So the cry of the lost. Ano po ba talaga ang reason kung bakit na pa rito ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo? Sa usapan ng mission, ano po ang pinakamagandang unawa, understanding, patungkol sa mission? When we say mission, we are not actually talking yung ating po mga pagsariling gusto gawin. Hindi po gano po, hindi gano ni Pastor Aaron, hindi ang gano po ni Pastor Janelle, hindi ang gano ng kahit sino. When we talk about mission, what we are talking in is about the purpose why our Lord Jesus Christ came. And you know what? In Luke chapter 19 and verse number 10, the Bible says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to say that which was lost. Kaya ang best definition sa vision, it is actually the answer to the question why our Lord Jesus Christ came. Bakit siya na palito sa lupa? Para po ba magtayo ng kanyang religion? Siya po ba'y na palito sa lupa para sa mga sekta ng religion na kanyang inatayo? Very clear that the reason why our Lord Jesus Christ came, it is for the purpose of saving mankind. Ano ang mensahe mo? Salvation. About the need, ang pangangailangan po ng tao, salvation. Maganda po na tayo ay merong mga charitable works. Maganda po na tayo po ay very helpful sa mga nananglangan, especially But I want all of you to know na pag pinag-usapan natin ang vision, higit sa lahat na nito, ang vision ay ang patungkol sa pagpipigay pansin sa mga nawawalang kaliwain na. And here you can see the cry of the lost. Using our imagination, gaano kaya karami ang mga tao na katulad po nung nakita ni Paul about the lost ship. 
And the Bible was about the loss of son. And then in that passage, the emphasis is that pag nawala yung silver coin at nakita, yung lost ship, pagka nakita, pagka po yung son bumalik at nagsumpungan, there is rejoicing in heaven. So pagkat ang bawat kalag na nakatanggap ng kaluwasan sa gilo, malipayo ang kalagang hindi. Yeah, man. 
I am very eager, I am very determined. Talaga willing ako na mag part-time job, willing ako na mag, alam niyo po yun, working student, until the jobs na naging congressman sa aming lugar, very close to my father, and then he offered me scholarship. Ang kundi ng struggle. Kasi bata pa lang ako, gusto gusto ko na yun eh. Tapos ito po, yung very capable na tao na talagang sinasabi niya, Pastor, pag-aaralin daw po niya ako mula po sa uh, first year hanggang sa matapos ko po ang no. And you know what? That offer became my great struggle. You know why? Kasi hindi na hindi ng father ko. Oh, kala ko soon maging abogado. Ano na yung offer na sa'yo? Ngayon ayaw mo? Alam niyo po, hindi ko ayaw. Gusto ko po. Kaya alam na may feel ko na yung pagkilos ng pangroon sa akin eh. Wow. Malakas na po yung conviction eh. Tapos na doon pa yung struggle na sa inyo pagkakapatid, ikaw lang ang iniisip namin na pag-aangat ng buhay natin. Diba sometimes ganun po yung mentality and that mentality is wrong. You know why? Hindi ikaw ang Diyos. Ang mag-aangat ng ating mentality. Ang iniisip ko, Pastor, kung hindi ko sinunod ang ginoo, nagdadami pa pati ng Pastor sa consequence ng ating Pastor. Dali pa naman sa islam na hindi na ko. Alam niyo po, dahil sumunod lang sa Diyos, hindi ako ginahin ng malaking islam. Wow. Ikaw ko yung ganda balita, ang dami ko nang nakain ng malaking islam. <laughs> Sweet and sour. Wow, amen! Young people, if God is calling you tonight, wag mong sasabihin,
the Apostle Paul said, For your sons, brethren, know our entrance even to you, that it was not in vain, but even after we had suffered before, and mercifully entreated as you know, from Philippi, we were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. Ang kapatid, inaalala ni Pablo, in yung church, hindi ito kung pumitik na kamay, inaan siya na agad niya. Members ng mga churches na kinamilangan nyo, sana po, mapalalahanin kayo. Dugo, luha, pawis, sakit, sakripisyo, pagtitiis at dahilan, kung bakit na pasimulan ang gawain. Yung mga pastors na humarap, Ang 
my first answer. No man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that we might not be late in your thoughts. I remember missionary Colinares sa Brunei. Sa matinding persecution na inabot po nila, dumating na siya sa point. Naayon na niya. Iyak na siya ng iyak sa Panginoon. Hindi na para ituloy pa ang gawain. Until naghanap siya ang mapapanood ng preaching sa YouTube. At nangyari po na ang inyong hindi ko na ako po At ako na ako po sa pagsunod. Alam niyo po, hindi encouraging. Nandun tumating siya sa Manila, hinanap niya yung church namin. Parang magsabi, salamat po, salamat po. Ang sabi niya, ang gusto lang niya, makapagpasama. Pero nung nakapunta siya sa unang church na pinagpastoran ko, at nalaman niya, nandun yung family ko, pastor, and then tumating sa mundo, na nag-speak ako, nandun po siya, in-invite ko po siya doon sa church, and then he expressed his heart to the church. Kung paano siya na-templed because the Lord used my online ministry to somehow challenge the church. Live for Christ first, amen? And then the result of living for Christ. 
listen to the conviction of the Holy Spirit. You should submit. God is calling you.